1944, American shipyards built 16 million tons of shipping. Japan built 300,000. That means for every single ship Japan could produce, America was building 54, 54. And here's what's terrifying about that number. Japan's leaders knew it. They had the reports. They saw the math, and they kept fighting anyway. But wait, it gets worse. See, there was one man who predicted all of this before a single bomb dropped on Pearl Harbor. Admiral Yamamoto had actually lived in America. He'd walked through the auto factories of Detroit. He'd seen the oil fields of Texas. And when Japan's government asked him if they could win a war against the United States, you know what he said. He said he could run wild for six months, maybe a year. After that, he had absolutely no confidence in victory, not because Japanese soldiers weren't brave, not because their pilots weren't skilled, but because he understood something his colleagues refused to accept. America wasn't just a country, it was a production machine, and he was right, almost to the month. After Midway, Japan started losing aircraft faster than they could build them. By 1944, America was producing 96,000 planes a year. Japan, 28,000. But here's the detail that should haunt you. American pilots got 300 hours of training before combat. Japanese pilots, because they were running out of fuel, got 75 hours. Some got even less. They were sending teenagers into the sky who could barely land the planes they were expected to die in. So when did Japan's high command finally admit they'd lost? That's the thing. There wasn't a dramatic moment. There wasn't a speech. Instead, there were private diary entries, whispered conversations. In 1944, the emperor himself demanded to see the production numbers. When they showed him the chart comparing Japanese output to American output, you know what he said. One word, just one word, alarming. And then the war continued for another 11 months. Millions more died, because admitting defeat out loud was unthinkable, even when everyone in that room knew the math. Admiral Yamamoto once wrote that he feared Japan had awakened a sleeping giant and filled him with terrible resolve. He was right, but here's what he understood that others didn't. The giant's power was never in its soldiers. It was in its steel. It was in its factories. The war wasn't decided at Midway or Iwo Jima. It was decided in Detroit and Pittsburgh years before the fighting even started, because mathematics doesn't negotiate. And by the time Japan realized that, it was already too late. 